So to see about related rates, we're going to differentiate with respect to time each of the different functions. So for the first example, we have y squared plus x cubed is equal to 5x. Derivative of y squared is 2y. Derivative of y with respect to time, so dy dt. Plus derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Derivative of x with respect to time, so dx dt. And then is equal to derivative of 5x is going to be 5. Again, derivative of x with respect to time, so dx dt. The next problem, we're going to find dy dt when x is equal to 1 and dx dt is equal to 2. Deriving x cubed is 3x squared dx dt. Derivative of 3 is 0, and derivative of y squared is 2y dy dt. Replacing in the given values of 1 for x, dx dt is 2. And y, well, we don't have a y value, so we have to go back to the original equation. Substituting in x, we can find out that the y value is equal to plus or minus 2. So we're placing that back into the function. Now we can calculate and solve for dy dt. So we get dy dt is equal to positive or negative 3 halves. When solving a related rate problem, there's just six steps to follow. First, just make a sketch. Second, ID the given information. And third, ID what you need to find. All three of those first three steps will occur at about the same time. The next step is to write down any equation that you might need for your problem. Then step five is to differentiate the equation with respect to time. I'd like to remember step five is to derive. And then step six, substitute into your given values and solve the problem. So the first problem, we have a plane flying horizontally. So drawing a picture of a plane flying horizontally, passing over a radar station. So the plane is up in the air. We have a radar station down on the ground. So it forms a little right triangle. So the altitude given is one mile. So using y for altitude, writing down the given information, y is equal to one mile. Another given information is the plane is flying at a speed of 500 miles per hour. The direction which the plane is going will be called x. So dx dt, the rate at which the plane is flying, is 500 miles per hour. Another given information is that the plane is two miles away from the station. So the value of c, the plane from the station, is equal to two miles. The question asks to find the rate at which the distance from the plane to the station is increasing. So we're looking for a rate, which is a d variable dt. And the distance from the plane to the station is c, so we're looking for dc dt. Next up, write an equation. x squared plus y squared is equal to c squared. Step five is to derive. So 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt is equal to 2c dc dt, differentiating with respect to time every variable. Well, the airplane is going to stay at an altitude of one mile. So since y is going to be constant, the derivative of y with respect to time is going to be zero. So we're placing in the value of x, which we don't know yet, dx dt, which is 500, plus that will be zero because dy dt was zero, value of c, which was two, and dc dt, again, we don't know, but that's what we're looking for. So now we're going to go ahead and use x squared plus y squared is equal to c squared to find our value of x x squared plus 1 squared is equal to 2 squared. So we have x squared is equal to 3. And so x is equal to the square root of 3. Replacing that value of x into the problem, we can now solve for dc dt. So we have 1,000 square root of 3 is equal to 4 dc dt. So dc dt is equal to 250 square roots of 3. So the question to find the rate at which the distance from the plane to the station is increasing, 250 square roots of 3 miles per hour is the rate that the distance from the plane to the station is increasing. 